back through Turkish and then Greek Cypriot checkpoints, although my passport is never stamped. Wild. I'm back on the Greek side as you can see and then behind this ugly barbed wire fence on the other side of this playground buffer zone you can maybe see the Turkish flag just there Hello Gandhi. This huge museum is free. These old maps show the unique shape of Nicosia's fortified walls which still exist to this day. The Cyprus Museum, though extensive, only covered up until the Ottoman period. I still didn't know what the British had been up to in Cyprus. Only to pay the observatory entry fee and the view from the lift landing. I'm such a geek. I absolutely adored Cyprus's stamp museum. I have a copy of this book. Mine was yellow. I imagine my granddad gave it to me. I've never read it before, but maybe this is my part of my interest in travel going for. Cyprus, an island in the East Mediterranean, a British colony which became a republic within the British Commonwealth in 1960. This is the third museum I visited today and it's hands down my favourite. And the lovely man gave me a souvenir when I left and I teared up because it was such a wonderful nostalgic experience remembering my grandfather and stamp collecting together. I admit I didn't fully understand all the installations at Nicosia's Municipal Art Gallery, their equivalent of Britain's Tate Modern. These pieces depict the separation of Nicosia. This is an abandoned mosque in the south of the city, and this is a church turned into a mosque in the north of the city. In the macabre National Struggle Museum, I began learning about Britain's involvement in Cyprus and the consequent insurgency which eventually won Cyprus its liberation.
this mosque on the Greek Cypriot side of Nicosia clearly used to be a Christian place of worship. museum or gallery I've visited in Nicosia so far and they've all been free. I've skipped a couple because you had to pay a couple of euros to go in. There's no need when there's so many free galleries and museums in this city. I was fascinated by the city's division. Cafes and houses sit right up against the UN buffer zone. Still backing like right up against the green line there, but this neighbourhood has been restored and looks lived in and quite prosperous actually. But the street still ends with the same sad barbed wire concrete wall. As a Brit who didn't study history in school, travelling to new places often comes with uncomfortable lessons in British colonial history. This monument is for the National Organisation of the Cypriot Struggle and it commemorates Cyprus's hard-fought liberation from the British Empire. Back through the checkpoints at the UN buffer zone to my accommodation in the Turkish north of Nicosia. Cheers, having a beer on the balcony as the sun sets and the call to prayer rings out. Might be um, a bit on the haram side, but <laughs> I have very good memories of doing exactly that in Cairo with my brother and his wife. Uh, so cheers, whatever the Turkish is for that, I haven't looked it up yet. Cheers.